Turning now to our top story, come May 1st, Uber and Lyft are set to stop operating in Minneapolis. The rideshare company saying an ordinance passed by the city council makes the service unaffordable in the city of Minneapolis. Fox 9's Courtney Godfrey has been covering this story for us. She's live in Minneapolis tonight, and Courtney, the mayor holding a press conference today with some big name stakeholders involved. Yeah, that's right, Randy. Today we heard from the Chamber of Commerce, from the airport, from Hospitality Minnesota, all who said they support a wage increase for rideshare drivers, but that this ordinance passed last month by the city council would have devastating impacts on the local economy. Every single council member and I as the mayor agree that we can increase the pay for drivers. This is doing it without listening to the data itself. As the clock ticks closer to Uber and Lyft leaving Minneapolis, business and hospitality leaders make yet another plea to the city council. We're all taking calls from trip planners asking us what should we do. Worse yet, we're hearing from future prospective conventions, corporate site selectors and others who are taking Minneapolis off their list of places to visit and places to locate. It's not a great look for our city. These guests need to be able to move about Minneapolis and the Twin Cities easily and safely. But that's not the experience we are about to provide for them. Mayor Jacob Fry even inviting those representing the disabled community to share their concerns. The city council does, did not get this right. We got it wrong. Let's step back from the cliff and let's make sure that we can have a responsible discussion about a path forward. But with the rideshare giants leaving, several companies have announced plans to fill the void. But not only are we bringing the heightened rides, we're making a more livable wage for our drivers. Carepool launching today in Minnesota with around 50 drivers already on the payroll as it specifically focuses on rides for seniors and people with disabilities. We've been doing that since 2018. And to be able to do that at a heightened level, personalized, is something that you're not going to get from an Uber or Lyft. This, as many fear the economic impact on a city still struggling to make a comeback. These decisions have consequences, and the council's decision to act without engaging all of these players and stakeholders and without considering this data will reverberate not just across our city, but across the entire region. Mayor Jacob Fry claimed today that the city council will be reconsidering the ordinance at its meeting this Thursday, but we are unable to confirm any plans with council supporters. Reporting live in Minneapolis tonight, Courtney Godfrey, Fox 9.